When I talked with Dahakin last time, he said that priests are like moonkins, and I thought he meant shadow priests. Okay, I thought he meant that shadow priest is kind of like a moonkin with its playstyle. It's actually discipline priest. Discipline priest, as the title says, are the bee's knees. So, what I mean by that, as a moonkin, if you know the encounter really well, you're gonna perform much better than someone who has no idea what's about to happen. That can be said about other classes as well, but moonkins, especially, are the ones who benefit from knowledge about encounters the most as a DPS. And discipline priests are basically the moonkins of the healers. They are. Because if you know the encounter as a discipline priest, you can make it a lot easier. You're going to be a lot more effective than someone who might know a couple of things that might may or may not happen, but he has no idea when they happen. So you're going to be much more effective, even if you have the same gear, by having knowledge about the encounter itself. That is very appealing to me. Next, uh, I've said this about a million times, it's really easy to be a bad moonkin. It is really easy to be a bad moonkin, because people assume that learning a rotation means you are good at the class. Learning a rotation and knowing a rotation is only a small part of what being a moonkin is about. And it's the same with the discipline priest. You know, with the moonkin, you start off by using wrath, you get into lunar eclipse, you use starfall, you use moonfire, sunfire, then you're using starfire and star surges to get into solar eclipse, where you use both your dots, you start using wrath again, and the process repeats. With the Discipline Priest, you're using Penance on cooldown, you're using Holy Fire on cooldown, and you're smiting. That's the basic idea of your rotation. It's really easy to learn, and it's really easy to be bad as a result with those two classes, because people think that when they learn the rotation, that's it. That's why you see so many bad Moonkins in LFR, in Dungeon Finders. Now, you always see a Moonkin that has full Timeless Isle gear, he has some BS from world bosses, and he still has 40k DPS, because he just knows the rotation, and that's about it. He has nothing else. He knows the rotation. He is a robot just pressing buttons. And I feel the same way about a Discipline Priest, because it's really easy to be a bad Discipline Priest when you can't time your spiritual correctly, or when you're using penance defensively too much instead of just being calm you know when you panic and use a defensive penance instead of offensive penance you are not performing very well and it's really easy you know to panic as a discipline priest because you don't have at least right now I don't have big burst healing I just don't and I feel it's really good that way you know sometimes it feels a bit panicky but when you keep your cool it's fine now in this dungeon the tank is wearing DPS heirlooms, and um, he was. I, I actually had to inspect him <laughs> when we're about when we're picking up the t tobacco. Is the first quest in Stratum. I'm like, is he really made out of paper? Is he really made out of paper? And I had to inspect him because it was. I got he got so close to dying on these first couple of packs so many times. You know, and I'm using Holy Nova because it looks pretty. It's useless. It heals for nothing. It doesn't do any damage at all. And it's a waste of mana, but it looks pretty, so suck it. <laughs> so, you no, know, he was about to die a couple of times. And I was running out of mana, and I felt kind of like, okay, I'm starting to struggle with mana. The DPS isn't enough to basically do all the healing. So I had to heal. And I felt like, okay, so is this where the Discipline Priest thing is kind of going down? And it's, you know, it's, I'm going to start to struggle. Nope. Level 44. Ding! I get Evangelism, which increases my damage, therefore my healing, and it reduces the mana cost of basically all my spells. <laughs> so it was just like, oh, there is this little bugbear fixed. Okay, I'm happy now. Um, and it's just great. 
I would specifically like to talk about one thing that happened during this dungeon. I don't think we will get to see it, you know. Uh, I don't think I've recorded it. Um, I think I stopped the recording after like 20 minutes or something. Uh, so, what happened was we got to a hallway. And in my mind, I don't know what happened, I mistook it for a hallway in one of the Scarlet Dungeons. The one with the treasurers. You know, where if the tank pulls the entire hallway, he's dead. Because they reduce armor heavily. You know, basically, if you pull the entire hallway, you have no armor as a tank, and you're dead. Because they also like to CC everyone else. So, as a healer, your tank has no armor, and you get stunlocked. And he dies, then you wipe, you know. This happens even to geared people in that dungeon. When he just pulls too much, he's careless, and the healer gets unlucky, and he gets stunlocked, the tank is dead, and so is pretty much everyone else. So I was just like, holy shit, he just pulled this entire hallway, you know, kind of not realizing that I'm in a different dungeon, and I went, he's gonna die. He's gonna fucking die. So I just popped my Shadow Fiend, so I get as much mana as possible. I popped Spirit Shell, and I started Spirit Shelling him as much as possible. I threw Renew on him, and I threw my um, Power Word Shield. And I was just like, yeah, that was a good thing. That, that was a good thing I just did there. Even though it nothing happened because I'm in a wrong dungeon, um, I realized it after I popped Spirit Shell um, and <laughs> bubbled him up heavily. I felt really good about that. <clears throat> Even though nothing happened and it was a useless waste of mana, I felt really good about it because I realized what could happen and I saw the possibility of the tank dying before there were any signs of him dying. And if we were in Scarlet Dungeon, you know, in the correct dungeon where this situation that went through my head could actually happen, the tank would survive. Because he had my power chilled on him, he had Renew, which is shite, but, you know, it heals for something, and he had a really powerful spirit shell on him. So even if I got stunlocked, the tank would survive long enough for me to heal him back up as soon as I get out of the stunlock. And it felt really good. It actually felt really bloody good. Even though I was in the wrong dungeon. It felt really good. And uh, I think that's the reason why I'm enjoying the priest so much. Because you can spot a problem before it becomes a problem. And you actually have the tools to deal with it. Okay, As a resto druid, you don't. You just don't. If you know a big hit is coming, you can hot up everyone. And you can prepare your mushroom, but that's about it. As a discipline priest, I can prevent that damage from going off. So, that is really good. And straight up just healing with atonement, you're not just a healer. Okay? You are healing. But that's not the whole thing. You are doing additional damage, so you're helping that way. You are shielding people, which is probably the most important thing. And um, at max level, you have things like Life Grip. You have um, the Angelic Feathers. You can dispel a lot of bloody things as a priest as well. You have Fear. You have good CC with the Void Tendrils. It's just awesome. I feel like... When I'm a druid, okay, when I'm on my druid and I'm healing, I feel kind of limited compared to the discipline priest. Because whatever happens, I have an answer for... I have an answer for it. You know, if something happens, I, I can just choose from so many things that I can do to answer that thing, you know. And it feels really good. I don't feel limited at all. Just like, oh, this just happened. Well... I have so many things I can do, let's do this one. You know, and if it's the correct decision, it feels good. You know, you can see the impact your decision had. It's really awesome. It, it is really awesome. So yeah. My Alliance tune will be a Discipline Priest. I am 100% sure now. Um, I already watched a couple of guides. And uh, it only gets better. So, yeah. 
Discipline Priest, here I come. It is the bee's knees. <laughs> 